On the 14th of August, 1914, the men of the 1st Battalion, the Lincolnshire Regiment, disembarked onto the Quayside in Le Havre, France. From there, they marched on to the Belgian frontier, and over the coming weeks did fight at Mans, La Cateau, Assine, Marne, and Ypres. By year's end, trenches would be dug from the English Channel to the Swiss frontier, and things such as helmets for shrapnel and equipment for gas would be donned to protect against these things. But for those first few weeks in 1914, this was the kit of the British Expeditionary Force in France at the start of the First World War. So here I am today presenting my First World War kit. And what is it? This is a Lance Corporal of the 1st Battalion, the Lincolnshire Regiment in France, Belgium. Well, Belgium, if it's August, and then France after that. Technically then France for the next four years, if we want to get technical. Oh boy, that was not in the enlistment paperwork. Shit. So... The next article, why did I get this kit? Well, my friend Brandon had hounded me for about a year saying, when are you gonna do World War I? When are you gonna do World War I? When are you gonna do World War I? It was basically the monthly thing. Well, it appears that I'm now doing World War I, but actually the story is a little more complicated than that. He had been asking me, and so I brought it up to some other friends who said, well, Brandon's been saying, you know, you should do World War I. So I brought it up to them and they jumped on board. Well kind of expedited the World War I timeline a bit. So the only thing I can say is that peer pressure, in fact, does work. I can't blame, though, everyone else for what happened to me. Um, I can, and I will, but I can't completely. The early 20th century is a period that I'm very much interested in, so it kind of was just an excuse, as excuses really are. So anyway, why don't we take a uh, look at some of the items uh, just like my last video on the Royals kit, so we can see what the kit is comprised of and kind of the what each item really does. So let's go. So on my feet are a size six pair of B5 boots. Um, right now I have the kit in the 1914 order. Um, so B2s would probably be more appropriate in this case, but this kit of, of World War I is you know for the whole war period, so kind of have to make sacrifices here and there. Um, I have it in the 1914 order because that's the period that I like the most, and I don't even know if you can find a pair of size 6 B2 boots. Um, anyway, but these are a Soldier of Fortune reproduction, because they're the only ones that I could find that had the right size. God, I hate having size 6 tiny feet. It's terrible. It's terrible. Above that are a Soldier of Fortune reproduction putty. Putties are, of course, to help keep rocks out of your boots and to give your legs a little more support. They were first used uh, in India. Um, they're not the greatest thing. Uh, I'd like to replace them in the future with some nice uh, original ones. But until that date, these will have to suffice. Rubbish. Anyway, the next thing up are the trousers, the standard old service dress trousers. Uh, these are also from Soldier of Fortune. And not much to write home about there. Above that is the SD tunic. Most amazing, isn't it? Um, so that's what it looks like. This is also from Soldier of Fortune. Above that is the famous set of 1908 webbing. As you can see, 1908 webbing. It's obviously where you keep your ammunition. Uh, that's actually a wooden block. That's not ammunition. <laughs> you can pretend though. Pretend works just fine. So this whole set is from What Price Glory, except the release pack, which is from uh, What Price Glory. Quite disappointed in myself there. Um, I say this is from What Price Glory, and then say that's from What Price Glory. Oh man. We're just having a day today, aren't we? Anyway, the release pack is from Soldier of Fortune and the webbing itself, uh, the main the main set, everything except the release pack and the release straps. Um, 
are from What Price Glory, and then the pack is from Soldier of Fortune and the straps. There. Uh, that should make everything clear now. Had a little dumb moment there, but it's okay. Anyway, uh, beneath this that you can't see is a gray back shirt. Uh, this one is from What Price Glory. Uh, it's the correct color. Um, the big issue with them is that the sleeves come super, super long. So I had to have the leaves, uh, the sleeves rather shortened um, for my make tiny arms too. So there we go. Now the kit is topped with this, the service dress cap. Um, this one is actually one made by a Mr. Richard Knight in Norfolk, England. Uh, you can visit his website, Khaki on Campaign, and he makes these uh, wonderful, wonderful um, SD caps. They're probably the best one you can get on the market. Um, maybe there's something better? I don't know, but this seems like it's is the uh, the pie la resistance of, of, of service dress caps. So that's the one I have and some of my other mates have as well. My overall impression of this kit is that it is relatively comfortable. Um, coming from a Revoir background, this is, you know, it kind of has a more modern cloth fit, comes on and off relatively easy. And coming, you know, from Revoir and it being wool, this really isn't that much different. Um, this is probably a lot easier to obtain than a Revoir kit because uh, there are a lot more uh, modern manufacturers out there and this is in the age of industrialization, so, Things don't all have to be hand sewn and you know whatnot like that. I've taken it out on uh, a few just hikes out with some friends and stuff, and we actually went on a charity march with it uh, last month, the Men of Hark, uh, Men of Harlick Charity March, and it, it performed really well, and I was pretty comfortable in it. So I would say this is a very practical and utilitarian kit, while also being the most important thing is it looks smart. Because if you have a kit that doesn't look smart, then why are you wearing it? Like, come on, there's there's no reason. So anyway, it's a smart looking kit, it's comfortable, and I've had no problems with it really. So before we close out this video, there is one last thing to look at. And that is of course, what the kit is armed with, the short magazine Lee Enfield rifle. This particular one is a 1918 dated example made by Birmingham Small Arms Company. And she still does exactly what she was designed to do at 300 yards, five rounds, rapid fire. And she does it just fine. So this is the British Tommy in France at the start of the First World War. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and cheers. It's the soldiers of the king, my lads, oh king, my lads, oh king, my lads, in the fight for England's glory, lads, of its worldwide glory, let us see.